All right, we should be live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to RTC TV4. My name is Dakota. Alongside with me is Libby. Hello. And we will be your co-commentators for tonight's Rochester Youth League baseball matchup between the Nationals and the Cardinals. So it should be an interesting match here tonight. Both teams are in the respective dugouts getting things ready here for tonight. So until we get the first batter up, we will just leave the camera on the field, and we'll be right back with you when the first... Uh, First pitch is thrown. Thank you for tuning in. All right, looks like we have our first national boy up to bat this evening. That is going to be number five, Joey Spencer. We have received the nationals lineup, but we are still waiting on the Cardinals lineup. And we will get that to you guys and get you those names as soon as possible. You're looking to hit it off near first, but I think it's going to be called a foul. Got a hold of it, but didn't send it quite in the right direction. That's going to be another swing and a miss. I think he's sitting with a ball and two strikes here. Let's see what happens. The ball two. Should be about a 2 2 count. He is out of here being the first out for the Nationals. I 
Bring up the next boy. Next up is going to be number six, Elijah Jackson. He's also their catcher this evening. Awesome. It looks like he can hit, too, but not exactly where he wants it to go. He, he dinged it. Did you see him uh, shake his hand? A little stinger. <laughs> a little stinger. Let's see if we can get a hold of it this time. Ooh, swing and a miss. It was really close. I don't know if I would have swung at that, but then again, I'm not down there in the batter's box, so. Ooh, strike three. He is out of here. Two up and two down for the Nationals. Cardinals making quick work of them here. Let's start things off here at the top of the first. All right. It's going to be number eight, Colton Fairvita. Down the outside be a ball rolled right up the fence. Small bit of it, we couldn't quite send it how we would want it to. All way on the outside, be another ball. Strike. I think he's at a full count by now, if I've been keeping track right. That's correct. Ooh. Cracked it up. It's going to hit your car. It is going to hit my car. <laughs> that went about where it's at. And I just got that thing fixed, too. <laughs> All right. Looks like next up is going to be number 12, Xavier Vance. Oh, no, number eight was still up there. He just swung out. My apologies on that. Well, Nationals with three up and three down. Cardinals making quick work of them to get them out of here at the top of the first. Let's see what work the Cardinals could get done here as we move on into the bottom of the first. And while we're making that adjustment here, we will take a quick word from sponsors and be right back with you to get the second part of this inning. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, we are back here on RTC TV4, bringing you coverage of the Rochester Youth League Baseball. 
About ready to get started here with this a uh, bottom of the first inning here where the Cardinals will take up bats against the Nationals. The Cardinals were able to make quick work of the Nationals while they were up to bat at the top of the first. So let's see how well they respond now being in the batter box. Or we'll see if the Nationals can retaliate and get rid of them just as fast. We'll find out here. All right, looks like we have the lineups for the Nationals and the Cardinals now. Nationals are going to be, well, let's do uh, Cardinals. Number six up to bat right now is going to be Young. Uh, and I do not have all the numbers for the Cardinals, but I will go um, on and let you guys know what their numbers are as we go through the batting order. Young. Lutz, excuse me, I think that's Lutz, yep. Cypher, Dalton, Calvert, Why, Why, oh my goodness, Wyand, Thatcher, Wilson, and Brooks, from my understanding. And for the Nationals, it's going to be Spencer, number five, Spencer, number six, Jackson, eight, Fervita, 12, Vance, 10, Hopkins, two, Shank, four, Bauer, three, Low, nine, Gardner, seven, Larman, and 11, Myers. All right. And he's going to get walked to his first base. That's going to be Mr. Young. All right, next up to bat is going to be Luke. And Lutz tonight is running number seven. Looks like our first baseman just stole second. Our catcher for the Nationals tonight is Elijah Jackson, number six. And our pitcher is Fairvida, number eight. Solid strike there. On that last pitch. Ooh. Outstruck the batter and he was able to shake the fence All well right. enough to get our camera moved. And is also able to advance second baseman over to third. Well, on that, I'm going to take a second off the mic here and see if I can get the camera adjusted. So I'll be right back. That was a fast pitch, and that's going to strike out number seven. Lutz. Number 10 is up next for the Cardinals. That's going to be Cypher. All right, I think I got things straightened up about there. Only problem with foul balls is sometimes they knock our camera loose, but luckily it's just outside the window for us to fix. All right, where are we at on the count here? All right, we are having a strike on that first pitch. All right, so no one. All right. Oh, close mm -hmm. to the batter there on that last one. Yeah, right by his elbow. ball on that one but on the inside think about I have a 3-1 counter here see if we can get walked oh, that was a solid pitch that'll be a full count Take a base. Yep, he's going to consider that one a 
ball. Next up to bat is going to be Dalton. Number Looks like we had a runner in from the Cardinals, and he is safe, I believe. I do believe so, too. So we'll put him down as, and if he's not, we'll One find run. out. They're going to have a timeout called by the Nationals. And their second baseman went over and ran to third. All right, we still got Dalton up to bat, number five for the Cardinals. And it looks like he is going to get a ball. That's that's, yeah, that's a strike. Oh, he's going <laughs> to... He's what? not too happy about that, I don't think. <laughs> he got out. He did get out. Yeah, it's three, three strikes. strikes. I didn't even see them throw it that many times. Okay. Um, so that's going to be another out for the Cardinals, making it two, right? Right, two. Yep. So that confirms us thinking that the um, the baseman that stole home came in and was safe. He was because yes. we would have had to swap up by now if he wasn't. So. Yep. All right, up to bat right now is number three, Calvert. Got a 1-1 one, one count on him. Ooh, Ooh, and that one hit him right in the back. Oh, goodness gracious. Cannot understand how these boys can just take that. <laughs> Wear it like a glove and take a base. <laughs> Smile through the pain and run one in. See what our next batter for the Cardinals can do. Okay, our next batter is going to be, I think it's y -end. <laughs> I I believe his last name is y -end. Um. Ooh. Our first baseman tried to steal second there. Catcher and pitcher keeping an eye on him. Yep. They will get a hold of it. All right, that brought in our number 10 player, giving them a second run this inning. And they did get him out at first, making it three outs. Before that run came in? Yeah, I do. I think he came in right before he got out. Oh, okay, so okay. I think, it, I think it's good. If not, we'll be corrected in some way or form. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, we always do. All right, well. While the teams are getting themselves interchanged and we get started here with the second inning, we're going to take a quick word from our sponsors here, and we'll be right back with you to start off the second inning here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All 
right, and we are back here on RTC TV4, bringing you coverage of the Rochester Youth League Baseball game against the Nationals and the Cardinals. Tonight, the Cardinals are the home team, and they have two runs on the board. After the bottom of the first inning, we're here at the top of the second, uh, getting ready for a Nationals boy number 12. Xavier Vance up to bat. See what he can do for his team and see if they can get some runs in. It is hot, hot, hot out here. It is. I feel lucky to get the AC a little bit here in the press box, but those boys ought to be sweating their pants off by now, I'd think. Yeah, it, it, I'm sweating. I'm up here, you know. <laughs> like, I can't imagine what it's like out on that field. So I'm watering it down. All right, looks like Xavier is going to be bad in here soon. A lefty, too. Let's see what he can do. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. I, I feel like he's a, uh, ambidextrous. I, f I swear I've seen him on the other side before. Hmm. I can't recall, but that's pretty talented to be yeah. able to swing with both hands. I can't even do that. W w would you anticipate that you could? <laughs> uh, maybe. Have some shred of confidence, but... <laughs> Did you play baseball or something growing up? Little League. Oh, man. <laughs> that's where it's at. <laughs> strike right. two for our batter for the Nationals. Oh, and he's calling strike three. He's yeah. out. That's going to be the first out for the Nationals this inning. Next up to bat is going to be number 10, Mr. Jimmy Hopkins. He's able to crank it back into the fence. Oh, no. He hurt his knee. Uh-oh. Running. All righty. Um, that, that hit the fence. Yep. It was a foul ball, and he did begin to um, look like he was in some pain there running off. We are going to switch over to an advertisement. We'll be back once we know that the game's going to presume. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speed. Okay, everybody, we are back here. And Mr. Hopkins walked that off like a champion. He's uh, back in the batter box to continue the fight. That's awesome. That's true sportsmanship right there. All right. Ooh, there's another foul ball. And it went right over our heads, right into our cars. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here he goes. One more time, see what's up. There we go. Oh, and it went over to the stands. That's going to be another foul ball. Just staying alive in here. The fact that he's able to hit it this many times is absolutely astounding. Let's be real. Let's see if he can get a hold of it and start sending it about center field is about, I think, where he'd want it to go. Yeah, I think he could really get it out there. Zero balls, two strikes. See what he can do. There, there it is. He got it. Perfect. And he is headed over to first. He's going to play it safe, staying at first. That's dedication right there. All right, up to bat next is going to be number two, Lane Shank. Ooh, and that one went right past him, but it was really close to him. It'll be a ball one to start things off for him. I'm going to the other side for a ball two.
swing and a miss. I'll give him his first strike. Solid pitch there by the pitcher. I think that'll give him a second strike. 2-2 two, two count. Only one out on the board, I do believe, for the Nationals. So let's see yep. what happens. Yep, that's right. There that'll it is. That'll be strike three, second out. Top Good. of the second inning. The pitcher's starting to dial in here, and if... Anything's the same from the first inning. The Cardinal, uh, the Nationals, my bad, sorry. Need to just start swinging for it, I think. Yep. All right, up next is for Bryce Bauer. And Bauer's got the right idea, but couldn't make contact with it. It'll be strike one. Oh, strike two. He wants it. There's strike three. That'll be the third out for the se for the Nationals. Zero runs this inning on their part. And next up is going to be the Cardinals up to bat. They will have Mr. Thatcher coming up as their first boy in their batting order. They already have two runs on the board, so we'll see where it, where it goes from there. Cardinals doing a great job pretty much canceling out any chance that the Nationals have had these past two innings to score any runs. So if they can capitalize on it and keep making more runs as the innings go by, I think they got a solid chance to win this one. So we'll just have to see what happens. You know, Maybe the Nationals get a, get a bit of heat going here at the bottom of the second and able to hold off the Cardinals so they can catch them. But we shall see. Nationals out there, getting out on the field, make some practice pitches, practice tossing, making sure the arms are all warmed up, ready for some field work out here. And the Cardinals are off in their dugouts, grabbing their bats, getting their helmets on, getting ready to hit some dingers out here. Dingers. Dingers. Some dingers and stingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Abby um, before. And she goes, yeah, the older they get, the less they want to wear those gloves. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you sound like like one of the moms. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when you see them shake their hands, you're like, mm, wear your gloves. <laughs> Man, I'm sweating so much I'm sliding off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> It's not too bad up here, but I <laughs> it I could am be worse. It, it, it could, could be, be worse. worse, definitely. But it's pretty nasty. At least uh, first base and a good uh, chunk of the right side of the field, though, is covered in shade, though, for the luckies for the guys out there. But <laughs> I feel bad for over in uh, left field. Just oh, he's got to uh, be bacon. What? Why can't he be pork chop? Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, because bacon's better. But they look like they're able to they're toughen through it. They've been doing good so far. Definitely. All right, looks like our coaches are getting out where they need to be for the Cardinals. That means our, the boys are going to come out soon. Our pitcher and catcher all warmed up, throwing their last practice toss. We got our first batter on this inning for the Cardinals. All right, Satcher is up to bat. Another strike for him, swing and a miss. He 
These are some fast pitches by the pitcher. I can barely yeah, see them as they just floosh by. Wow. He says he's got a 2-2 count right now. Ooh, struck the batter on that one. <laughs> yeah, that almost hit him in the face. Full count for our batter. He's able to run out to first. He's going for second. And he's going to sit with a nice double. He's going to keep it safe. All right, we got our next batter for the Cardinals up here. All right, our next batter is going to be Wilson. I do believe he's sitting on 1-1 one, one count. Who even knows what it is at this point? He's thrown so many pitches. <laughs> yeah, they are very yeah. fast. I'm very impressed by the pitcher for the Nationals here. Oh, goodness, that almost hit him. Of course, right when oh. I was saying he was getting some good pitches, he just about strikes the batter. <laughs> yep, and we have third base stolen. Be a full count for our batter. Ah, swing and a miss, and that'll be out. Yep. I do believe the first one for the Cardinals this inning, right? That is correct. That'll be the first out. Bottom of the second inning. And up next is Brooks, number four. And my apologies, Wilson is number three out here tonight. That'll give us our full lineup for the uh, Cardinals boys with their numbers. Six Young, seven Lutz, ten Cypher, five Dalton, eleven Calvert, eight Wyand. Uh, again, my apologies on that last name. Nine Thatcher, three Wilson, and four Brooks. And our batter's sitting at a 3-1 count right now. He's in the good riding to be walked here, but not out of the woods yet. Uh, there he'll get his base. Put a runner on first and third. Sitting in a good spot for our next batter for the Cardinals. And for the Cardinals, their pitcher is Lutz and catcher is Cypher. Looks like we're going to steal second. And he does. Okay, starting our batting order over. We're having six young up to bat. Ooh. Swing and a miss for Young. I know he's sitting on two strikes. I'm not 100% sure how many balls he's got at this point. Oh, he's able to knock one way out there. Oh, kind of towards first. But he is going to keep it in. Number nine just came in, Mr. Thatcher. And, ooh, there comes another run. Number four, Brooks. That's going to give the Cardinals two runs this inning, making a total of four for the whole game so far. And leaving them with one player out there on third base. All right, up to bat next is going to be number seven, Loot. Cracked one way out over on top it, of us. It hit the fence, and then it, w it kept going over the fence. 
So that'll be a foul ball. Goodness. And that'll be a walk. Next up to bat for the Cardinals is going to be number 10, Cypher. <gasps> oh, that one almost hit his head. Number 7 is going to go and steal second base. Looks like we're going to have timeout. I'll have the coach talk a little bit of a talk a little bit of strategy to the pitcher, maybe get him a little settled down here. He's been throwing some awful fast pitches and some of them are pretty good, but others not so good. Yeah, they've been coming out really fast every one right after the other. Talk a little bit about the family of the boy that's up to bat, Cyphers. Um Underneath us is Jared Cypher. Right out there is Jake. Jared is, does concessions. I think he's been doing it for five years, he told me. Wow. Yeah, and uh, up here, uh, thanks to their mom, I, I just know her as Mrs. Cypher. Hmm. <laughs> um, she gave us some water to stay hydrated, but also she uh, gave us the lineups this evening. So thank you, guys. All right, that one is going to be, I think he called that as a ball. That's four balls. Might get to walk. And we oh. got our third run in it, and he's safe. He's safe. That'll be our third run in, giving us five total for the game. I think they considered that last one a strike. Oh, no, he has a 3 0 count. Where did I get any of that from? I'm going crazy. This ump is using the opposite fingers. <laughs> He's doing the opposite than the rest of them. So I'm like, I have no idea. There's a 3-1 now. That last one had to have been. There's a swing and a miss. Should be a full count about now. There it is. You can always tell the full count because they do A-O when they <laughs> wave their hands. <laughs> That's what happens. Swing and a miss. I think he caught a little bit of it, so he's still in it. In it to win it. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Yep, that'll be the strikeout. Bringing us two outs for the Cardinals. I believe it was two outs. Maybe it's the third one. Now, I'm guessing that is, unless they're talking, nope, they're exchanging That's the third one. sides. So that one of the runners that was coming in, I was wondering if maybe he might have gotten tagged out. I wasn't 200% yeah, sure on that, that but I guess he did. One. Yeah, so it's going to be only two runs then for this inning and two runs total then. Uh, four runs total. Or four runs, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with these fast-paced boys. They are, the older they get, the faster it goes. But all the more entertainment and fun, I guess. Yeah. Well, with that, that's going to bring us to the end of the second inning. So we're going to take a short break and get some words in from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with the top of the third. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherds offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today, online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, and we are back here getting ready to kick things off with the top of the third inning here. 
Cardinals still got this one in the bag with four runs to zero, but anything can change in baseball. Let's see. The Cardinals so far have been able to keep the Nationals from scoring any runs these the past couple of innings. They've been able to strike them out, usually one, two, three, but they were able to get a runner on base last inning. So let's see if the Nationals can break through the Cardinals pitcher here and maybe gain some footing here. Or the Cardinals could strike them all out again. We'll find out. All right, up to bat first for the Nationals is going to be number... Oh, goodness. Is going to be... Um, Number, excuse me, nine. Is that correct? No, it might be number three, Aiden. Yep, number three, Aiden Low. A swing and a miss for him. An O2 count for him. There's three being the first out for this inning for the Nationals. That was fast. Who's, who's pitching for the Cardinals again? Number seven, Mr. Lutz. He is dialed in, or at least getting the batters to swing for him when they shouldn't it's be swinging for him. probably hot. He's like, I'm just going to strike out all these kids, and then so yeah, <laughs> we can <just> go home. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably burning up out there. His face is all red. All of them are. The heat index, I think, for this evening was supposed to be 98 or something, but the actual like heat itself is only 92. Yeah, these boys are still putting in the effort. That's good to see here. Dedication to the sport. Definitely. Number nine, James Gardner is up to bat right now. He's got a 1-1 one, one count here. See what he can do with it. Oh! I think he got hit, but I'm not... I think he swung for it. I think that's going to count against him. Yep, he did. It'd be a one two count. Goodness. There oh, it is. He's gonna consider that a strike. So that's gonna be the second out for the Nationals this inning. Two up, two down, just like that. And next up will be number seven, Maddox Alarman. Swing and a miss for him. Two count. Two outs on the board. He's out. That'll be the third one. No runs for the Nationals yet at the top of the third inning. You're going to enter the bottom of the third with the Cardinals up to bat and Nationals out on the field. Nationals better pull something out of their sleeves here at the bottom of the third here. We don't want to well, actually, I think it'd be kind of funny if we continue to trend of two, 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 zero, zero, zero. But I don't think the Nationals would be big fans of that trend. You it, think that would be funny? Well, if it's like a constant number, you know, you know, Goodness. it's kind of funny. Constant numbers. A constant number is what's funny to you. Well, it it's little things, I guess. <laughs> Even still, Nationals probably looking to uh, change that for sure, and I don't blame them. So let's see if they can get done here as they take the field. Update, Dakota is biased. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I do always like when the home team wins just because, like, it's the know, home turf. It's the home turf, yeah. yeah. Well, technically, I mean, this is both their home field, essentially. Well, yeah, true, but. My um, dad has noticed that because I've been doing this commentary that I'm more into baseball, you know, than I previously, obviously I've always watched baseball and I've always been into it, but I really understand it more and more now. And so we had my, my birthday is coming up and we had plans and he goes, 
Hey, do you want to go to a Cubs game for your birthday? And we, and we already have plans to go to a Cubs game later on in August. So, like, he wants to just continue <laughs> this. He's, like, really into it. Well, I guess that's what happens when you start, you know, commentating over, you know, youth baseball. You kind of got to catch up to the trend and know what you're talking about or else you just sound like a big old goof on the mic. Well, most of the time we sound like goof anyway. Well, so. true, but at least we sound like <laughs> somewhat educated goofs. <laughs> All right, number five is going to be up next. Dalton up to bat for the Cardinals. I actually last Thursday went to a South Bend Cubs game, so they were sh they were throwing like ninety eight miles per hour. Like, oh yeah, it there gets was one intense. guy that um from the ooh the, that one definitely is gonna hit Popping your truck. That is hitting. Oh, I heard it on the roof. It definitely hit the roof. Maybe that you know killed some of the bounce <laughs> to, to get to your truck. Yeah, please. It's gonna be under your tire. That's fine. Souvenir. Staying alive in the batter's box, but that will be strike one, considering that's a foul. Ooh, there he smacks another one back there. He is trying to hit my truck. <laughs> I don't want to be incorrect, but I believe that's Dalton, uh, Jessica Dalton's little brother, uh, Michael. I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, the last time I saw him, he was like <laughs> six or seven. So <laughs> that was a few years ago. Okay, let's see if she, he uh, where he hits it. That's gonna be a ball. There's a strike. That's strike three. That'll be the first out for the Cardinals. No runs so far this inning. Nationals better keep that momentum. Anybody. Strike one. Right now up to bat is number 11, Calvert. One one count. That one seemed a bit low. Two one count. And to the right. Ooh. Caught a piece of it. Couldn't quite get it to send though. He called it a foul ball. Two two. Ah, there it is. Third strike, he's out of here. Two up, two down for the Cardinals. Nationals picking up some heat. Let's see if they can get that trifecta here. Or as some people call it, a three-peat, I am told. Pete? Yeah. Oh, no. There's a wasp. There's a wasp in here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Did Pete make it up? No, a three-peat, like a repeat three oh, times. Oh, a three-peat. There you go. Goodness. Okay, that'll be a ball. Yeah, I don't – what is that supposed to be, like a pun? I think it's a – it's play a term. It's just a, play a term, on words. I guess. It's a term that they use. Ooh. Got a hold of it and send it just right in front I of him. Is he out? No, oh. they didn't catch it. He's going to second because <laughs> why not? Well, if you got an opening, might as well take it. Oh, it looks like they're going to consider it a, a foul, I wow. think. I guess they it are calling have, a foul. It might have hit his foot when he was running. Just with how um, fast it hit the bat and then went to the ground, it might have hit his foot. Yeah, everyone was moving for that one, so yeah. Huh. Two one count. There, let's see if we can make amends for it. Ooh. Ooh, and they didn't catch it, so he's booking it over to second. He might he's be able to make try it a make third. It to third. He got it. He's there. Yeah, 
They're keeping him at second. All right, next up to bat for the Cardinals. That'll be Mr. Wyand, number eight. Just swing and a miss for him to start things off in the batter box. Strike two, one two count. Yeah, and a swing and a miss to bring a strike three. That should be three outs, I do believe. Oh, that was not Mr. Wyand. That was Mr. Thatcher, number nine. Yes, that was the third out for the Cardinals. They did not get any runs this inning. Nationals were able to hold them off, and hopefully, starting with the fourth inning here, they can start to make a little bit of a comeback and finally score some runs and get themselves on the board. But until then, we're going to step away here and get some words in from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with you at the start of the fourth inning. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester. Offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies. All customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at Peterson-Wagoner.com Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, we are back here at the Rochester Youth League baseball game between the Cardinals and the Nationals. Right now, the Cardinals are out on the field, and the Nationals will be up to bat here soon. Nationals were able to hold off the Cardinals from scoring any runs the last inning. So now they're sitting at an opportunity to finally get themselves on the board and try and catch them. So let's see what happens here at the start of the fourth. All right, we're getting some practice pitches and catches in. And it looks like our first national boy up to bat is going to be number 11, Aiden Myers. I didn't even see that first pitch. It went by <laughs> a bit too fast for me. Saw that one. I believe we're at a 2-0 count on the board here. Two balls. Looks like we have a different pitcher. Number six, Young, for the Cardinals. 3-0 count, if I'm not mistaken. Might walk him. And that's going to put number 10, Mr. Cipher, as the... Catcher. 
Oh, maybe not. My count was way off. We're at a 2-2 count. <laughs> oh, and that's going to be a foul ball. Just barely caught a hold of that one. See where Aiden can go with this. There's strike three. He got him out. That'll be the first out in the fourth inning for the Nationals. Oh, and Ooh, he cracked that one out. it way out there. They were not able to catch it, so he's headed. Going oh, this is number five, Joey Spencer. That's up to bat. He's going all the way for third. He's got he's him out. Out. Well, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit, but unfortunately, I don't think he got his biscuit. Or did he? The coach is saying otherwise. The umps are going to talk to each other, see what's up. They're saying he's out. So that'll be the second out for the Nationals here, I do believe. Yes, that's correct. All right, up to bat next is going to be number six, Elijah Jackson. Strike one. There, he's able to hit one out. Oh, caught out. That's three. That'll be three uh, very quickly here against the Nationals. The Cardinals were able to get them out. Zero runs for them this inning. Next up will be the Cardinals to bat. Nationals out on the field, and we'll see where it goes from there. See, maybe the Nationals can hold them there at four runs and not let them score anymore. Or maybe the Cardinals will start taking off with it here. I don't mm. know. Nationals just haven't been able to get anything going for them. It seems like they get struck out before anything. Let's see what happens. Bottom of the fourth here. Nationals taken to the field. Cardinals will be grabbing their bats. More than half of the field is uh, in the shade now, finally. So That's good. Thank goodness these kids can kind of take a break from the sun beating down on them, but I'm sure it's still hot out there. As this game continues on, for those of you at home, this is a doubleheader here tonight at the Rochester Youth League. Later on, after this game, we will be having a major league game between the Fulton Cubs and the Indians here tonight, where you will have the privilege of continuing to listen on and hear Libby commentate and Ooh. also be joined by Abby later here tonight, and that will start at 8 o'clock after this game. So there's that to look forward to. All right, looks like we have our first Cardinal batter. And he got a ball.
ball on that first one. Swing and a miss on that one. Number three, Wilson. 2-1 count, I do believe. Or 1-2 count, backwards. Yep. I already cracked it. Ooh, and he made it up there. So he is going to head on over to... I think he's going to be able to make it a third. He's going all the way for it. He's there. Oh, Ooh, he's going for home. Oh, and catch it. Tagged him out. Nah. Tried I to go all the first. way. Couldn't. I would have stayed at uh, third, not first. Well, like I said, got to risk it for the biscuit, but unfortunately, again, no biscuit was had. Number four, Brooks, up to bat. I believe he's at two strikes here. That'll be a ball. Should be one, two count. He tried to bunt for it. And he's out of here. That'll be the second out for the Cardinals. They haven't got any runs in. So for them to have two outs is uh, pretty difficult, I'm sure. All right, they're able to crack one over. I think a foul ball, though. Yep. Right now, we're having number six, Mr. Young, up to bat. Oh, excuse me, number eight, it looks like. I know he did. we did have a complication earlier where I had said number eight, but it was actually number nine. So they may have moved him in the batting order because he is an extra hitter tonight. No, that is number six, Mr. Young. Ooh, there we go, all the way out there. And they were not able to pick it up. He is making it over to second. He's going Possibly for third. Possibly third. Don't make the same mistake last time. I'd stay at third. Yep. That's our safest bet. Okay. The boy on third, they're going to have number seven, Lutz. Up to bat next. That one's going right for the fence. Swing and a miss there. Ball. It's a two one count. Full count. My bad. That would have been a two two. Now three two count. All right. That's going to let number seven walk. Got runners on first and third. In good position to score some more runs here. See what our next batter can do. Our next batter will be number 10, Cypher. Looks like he wants to bunt it. Didn't go for it. And a runner on first decided to go ahead and steal second. Be another ball for a batter. A strike, I do believe. It's a 3-1 count. 3-1 count right now. Is it a 3-1 now? It is a 3-1 oh, now. Oh, okay. My apologies. I saw that wrong. Okay. And he is able to... Ooh. He got him out. He's out. That'll be the third out. And zero runs for the Cardinals this inning. Yep, we are going to start the top of the fifth. 
and the uh, Cardinals have four runs. The Nationals have zero runs this game. And we will be right back with a word from our sponsors on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Okay, and we are back here on RTC TV4, giving you coverage of the Rochester Youth League baseball game against the Nationals and the Cardinals. Right now the Cardinals are in the lead with four runs um, as of the second inning. They were able to get those in the first and the second. We're in the top of the fifth inning right now. Um, Nationals with zero runs and the Cardinals with those four. We are just waiting on these boys to warm up a little bit, even though it is burning up outside. I was going to say. So they're, they're already warmed they're, up. Yeah. <laughs> they're just getting heated. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, our national boys will be up to bat next. And I believe we're going to start with Mr. N uh, Fairvita, number eight, up to bat. Let's see if the nationals can finally get themselves up on the board. It would be nice to see. But yes. we will find out here shortly. The catcher throwing a final practice throw. And I think we're about ready to get things started off here. It's, all, it's when they all disperse from the middle. Mm -hmm. That's when it starts. They're all <laughs> taking their spots. Yes. All right. Colton's up to bat. And it's going to get a ball on his first pitch. It's a bit on the out, too, making a ball, too. There, Ooh. he cracks it up. The foul ball, though. Almost hit um, his coach. Goodness gracious. That would have been scary. <laughs> Keeping his coach on his toes, I guess. Again, Eight. number six. Mr. Young is pitching tonight for the Cardinals. They switched that up um, just the last inning. Could be a 3-1 count here for our Nationals batter. A oh, 2-2 two -two count, my bad. <laughs> I must. I thought it was, Listen, it was out, but I, I guess not. I can't call what this ump calls as far as I can see it. So. Oh, Hop that's going to be a first out. It's a good hit, just a bit too high. Next up to bat is going to be number 12, Xavier Vance. And he's a lefty. Let's see what he can get going here. Oh, swing and a miss. And another swing and a miss. He wants to get a hold of it. Let's see if we can make that happen here. There, he got a hold of it. Awesome. He sent it all the I way out I think it's out. Yeah, he got a home run. 
Awesome. His teammates are going to. Just going to greet him at home plate. He yeah. sent that one all the way out. That's amazing. Woo. Impressive Good job, work. Nationals, for their first run is a home run. Hey, if you're going to put yourself on the board, might as well do it in the biggest way, I guess. <laughs> yeah, style. Take a victory lap and slap a one on the board. Okay, up next is going to be Jimmy Hopkins, number 10. Jimmy was up here one time. He uh, kind of hurt his knee after he got a foul ball. But he ended up making it all the way over to first. Um, ultimately, they ended up getting out. But the fact that he was able to make it after being hurt is just shows sportsmanship. Looks like Jimmy's out. That'll be the second out for the Nationals this run, or excuse me, this inning. And up to bat next will be number two, Lane Shank. A ball, but on the inside and a bit low. They're swinging a miss. It's a 1-1 one, one count. And that'll be another strike. One, two. Let's see what he can get going here. With two outs on the board. Ooh, that Ooh. one almost went towards his face, but he was not even ready uh, standing up to bat. It wasn't going to go there. 2-2 two, two count right now. And there's the third one. He's out of here. Okay, that'll be the third out. They got one run this inning. That is an impressive run at that since it was a home run by Xavier. At least put him on the board, so that's good to see. Yep, we are going to have the Cardinals up to bat next with the Nationals out on the field. Let's see where they can go with this. Let's see if the Cardinals can try and expand their lead or if the Nationals are going to hold them at that four run. We'll find out. Bottom of the fifth. Looks like we have a different boy out there on the pitcher's mound, and it will be Xavier Vance. Xavier, the one who hit the home run? Yes. Making sure there's not two of them out there on the no. on the Nationals there, team. There's only two Aidens on the Nationals team. That's the only two double name that they have. He can hit a home run for sure. He can definitely hit the ball. Let's see if we can strike out the Cardinals here. See how it warms up. Getting that last practice pitch in and catcher tossing it out to the second baseman. 
I think we're ready to go here. We got our first Cardinal batter up here for the bottom of the fifth inning. And ready to go, number number five, I do believe I see. For the Cardinals. Yes, number five is gonna be Dalton. Oh, and he's struck by the pitch. He went down after getting hit by that one, but he'll take his base. Oh, man. Trooper. All right, up next will be number 11, Calvert. <laughs> Looks like some of the um, boys have these things that Abby refers to as frogs. They're like towels that hold moisture. Ah, to keep them cool but while they they're outside. But they have them under their hats and yeah. like, like little, I don't know, it reminds me of like Arabian Nights or something. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The camel. <laughs> Doing whatever it takes to make sure they don't get mm, any. That'll be a strike. Heat problems. And an 0-2 yeah. count for our batter here on for the Cardinals. You get the ball. Oh, struck by the pitch. He'll get walked, too. Okay, that's going to move our first baseman over to second. All right, we got our next batter for the Cardinals. This first pitch is going to be a ball. Oh, I think he just done struck our camera. I oh. think that was a direct hit on our camera. Uh, Dakota, don't get so worked up. It's just a camera. Uh, we can I'm, always fix it. I know. I'm just impressed. Out of all the <laughs> spots he could have hit, he nailed us straight on. All right. Well, looks like Xavier's pitching, and number eight had hit it off into a foul area. And I'm going to get off the air here for a second and try and adjust to give you guys a better picture back at home. I'll be back. I'll uh, commentate and narrate the game as best my, I can without a camera for you guys, just so you get a gist of what's happening. Okay, Xavier is going to pitch, and that is going to be a strike. We have a 2-2 two -two count on the board right now against number 8, I believe, Wyland. Wyand. Yes. Then we have a full count right now. And he hits it. He hits it over towards first. We're going to have a run in. Oh, possibly two runs in. And it looks like Wyan is going to stay at third. Keeping it safe. There we have two runs for the Cardinals. And uh, another Cardinal up to bat, Mr. Thatcher, number nine. All right, bringing the score for the Cardinals up to six runs. So they're definitely taking their lead and trying to definitely expand it here. That was impressive, uh, just being able to get it out there. All right, looks like we have two strikes on Thatcher right now. Oh, and there's a foul. Went right over the crowd. Someone yeah. rushing to grab hold of that one. They got to get their smooth, their slushy. Right, their free slushy for a foul ball. Forgot <laughs> about that. Hit one up here to the window. They, uh, actually, they tried to, to yeah, go yeah. <laughs> They hit your camera. Oh, that's, that's just impressive. That just amazes me. 
We knew it was going to happen one of these times. Very true. Ooh, that Ooh. one almost hit his head. Too close to the batter there. That'll be another ball. I think we're sitting at a 3-0 count. A 3... Yeah, 3-0. No, 3-1 because he hit a foul. Yes. There, he'll take his base. All right. That's going to put a baseman on first and third. Up next to bat, it's going to be number three, Wilson. That nearly hit him. Oh, and it looks like number nine is going to steal second. Swing and a miss. Yeah, that's the first strike on uh, Wilson. Make a 1-1 one, one count. Two one now. Two balls, one strike. There's another strike. Two two count now. And there's the third one. Yep. That'll be another out for the Cardinals. This inning. And number four, Brooks, will be up to bat right after our Nationals coach. Gives a few tips to the pitcher. And our Cardinals batter getting a few... Words of advice from his coach as well on how to approach this fight in the batter box. See what he can do. Okay. Ooh. That was close. That nearly hit him. All right, Brooks is still up to bat with two boys out there on third and second. A swing and a miss. The yeah, one one count. Another ball, make it a two one count. See if maybe we can get a hold of one here. Ooh. Be a strike for a two two. There he is, he's out. That'll be the second out for the Cardinals at the bottom of the fifth inning. Next up to bat will be number six, Young, starting the batting order over. There he just shoots one out there. Perfect. That's right where it needed to go to get those boys in. There comes two runs. Young's going to make it to third, and he's going to stay there. That'll be four runs just in this inning. Six all together. Oh, yep. Or, excuse me, not six. Eight all together. My apologies. I uh, clearly don't know how to do math anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you mess you with numbers too much. You just kind of blank them out. That's all right. 
We got a ball for a better. Yes, Mr. S Lutz, s number seven. We were able to steal a run in from third. Ran up to five runs this inning and nine runs total for the Cardinals here tonight. There's a strike. Two one count on our batter for the Cardinals. That one's a bit off on the right side, but out. It'll be a three one count now. I right, cracked that one out there. Way into outfield. Might be able to pull a double off of that one. Maybe. Yep, and he's going to sit there. Looks like the Cardinals are taking a significant lead on this one. Ball one for the first pitch for our next Cardinals batter, number 10. Who is that? Number 10 is going to be Mr. Cipher. That was a strike. It's a ball. He held up his strike hand. <laughs> right is ball. Oh, yeah, he's doing it backwards. My bad. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> You're he's good. He's doing it backwards than most of the other umps have been doing it. And we got another run in. There we go. Giving us six runs just in this inning. Still have the player out on second. Up next is number five, Dalton. Looks like that one's going to be a strike. Ooh. There we got a hold of that one. That's a foul ball. We got a hold of that one, making another foul ball. That one nearly hit him. Thank goodness the catcher got it. Be a one two count. Another foul just staying alive here in the batting box. Swinging a miss for strike three and a yep. third out for the Cardinals. That'll bring them in and line the boys up, I think. I believe so. Nope, it's only 7.23. So they might be able to start that sixth inning. Yep, with that, I think that's definitely what they're going to do. Cardinals are heading out to take the field and Nationals are getting ready to get lined up to take up the bats. Cardinals still in the lead with 10 runs to Nationals 1. Let's see if the Nationals can get something rolling for them starting off in the sixth inning. But before that, we are going to take a quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with you on RTC TV 4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today, online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, 
offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. <laughs> Do you want to repeat your theme song? No, thanks. I would sound ungratefully biased if I did. So you I'm would. going to keep my... Go teams, go. Go teams, go. <laughs> hey, Rochester, what do you say? The team is going to win today. <laughs> some, some team is going to win mm -hmm. today. <laughs> All right. Top of the six here. Cardinals out on the field doing field work. Little team meeting up there on the pitcher's mound. Nationals off the side taking up their bats, putting on their helmets, getting ready to fight in the batter's box and see what they can get rolling for them. The, the real question and what's really going to determine whether or not we can continue to work together, Dakota, is are, are you a, a White Sox or a Cubs fan? I'd say I'm more of a Cubs fan okay. than a White Sox fan. <sighs> Whoosh. I mean, I don't follow baseball Whoosh. that much, but out of the two of them, I think I like the Cubs better. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a bandwagoner. That's yeah, for you to figure that's out. that's what you are. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Up next is number four, Bryce Bauer. For the Nationals, I like his helmet. It kind of matches his his whole attire. Looks like those storm clouds might be coming in, Dakota. Oh, the pitcher got that one. That's going to be first out. Wow. His quick he, reaction he on the went, pitcher. Whoosh, like a frog. Like a frog. Just with his arm. Just rip it. We, we got it. <laughs> All right. That'll be the first out for the Nationals here at the top of the six. That was amazing. All right. Up next is going to be number three, Aiden Lowe. A swing Lau. and a miss for his first pitch here. I think it's Lau. <laughs> well, I got a hold of that one. Foul ball, though. Right to the hands of the coach of the Cardinals. Does that count as an out? No, I don't think so. <laughs> that had to hurt. Grown men, they pretend like they just don't feel those things, but we all know. There is no pain, no emotion. <laughs> that's, that's a, a real stinger. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strike three, and that's two up, two down. The Cardinals going to be able to finish off the Nationals here? Let's see. What we got up to bat now for them? All right, up next is going to be Mr. Aiden, oh, excuse me, James Gardner, number nine. Aiden was just up. There's two Aidens, too, so I was looking down further. <laughs> My bad. Woo. I got all of it, popped it up, though. I haven't heard a hit yet. I haven't either. <laughs> well, there Ooh. it is. It must have went out, and I didn't see it go all the way out. A foul ball for sure. Okay, let's see what James can do. That one is a little too far over. Two-one count. Ooh. Swing and a miss, 2-2. Two, two. He wants to get a hold of it, see if we can crack one out. Ah, there's that strike three. Yep, that'll be the third out. Zero runs this inning. Very, very fast top of the inning for a sixth. Nationals are going to go out to the field. Oh, oh no, they're not even going to play. Yep, they're just going to call it. All right. Well, it looks like the Cardinals won 10-1 to 1 against the Nationals tonight here at the Rochester Youth League Baseball Diamond. A good game by both teams. But, yes, as you said, Cardinals ran away with it with 10 runs to 1. Well, thank you all for tuning in to RTC TV 4. Feel free to stay tuned for the next game against the Fulton Cubs and the uh, – and the Indians, and you'll get to hear more of Libby, but unfortunately I won't be on the air that <laughs> time. So maybe a blessing to some of you, or, you know, <laughs> however you think. But That's either okay. way. They get Abby. <laughs> yes, they get the lovely Abby as she will take up my place here. But we want to thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you all in the next game.